should get my Bernard. I was half expecting him to be asleep. He asked if he could have the morning off. I thought, all right, you've been working real hard, sure. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of undistracted work done, namely blend a goose with the flock I want it to be with. It's good to have skin on the back. Good morning. There he is. Let's get him in a second. Check on these guys. See the little guinea peats under there? We set fertilized guinea eggs under these broody hens to get them all here. Wait, we've got one. Right next door, we have another broody hen on its own. Looks like you're gonna hatch. These are, we're calling it. You got two, okay? And the other hag eggs didn't hatch for some reason. We've got our goose there. You want to raise one goose with one flock. We have 100 sea monster meat chickens here. They graduate to grass on Wednesday when the other, the first batch, goes to freezer camp. You know what I'm saying? Donald the goose is already out there. So, guys, Donald will love you. Donald will love you, I'm sure. We tried putting her in, she adorable. <laughs> We tried putting her in with her, the layer chicks. They were a little older and picked on her. Sea monsters were the same age, so we put them together. So hopefully she's imprinted on chickens. And I can hear feel her little heartbeat. So she's imprinted on those chickens, chicks. And now let's try to put her with the layer chicks again and see if she doesn't just get attacked. <laughs> See how this goes. We're here on the outside. Kind of let them. Oh look! The goose is significantly bigger now. Two, three times as big. They are curious, but I don't think they can. Look, they think that it's like they think the goose is the mom. That's what chicks do. They're, they're, the mom goes around and picks that stuff, gets it for the little chicks, plugs it, kills it for the little chicks, and then the chicks eat it. They just think this is the mom. Yay! So this is the guard goose for this that flock. This flock will be blended very soon. When the other shocker knot net gets here, we're gonna blend these guys with these guys. It's gonna be exciting. I think I have some ideas. To, to keep this private for you guys, to keep this door propped so only you guys can come in and out and eat your starter feed. And I have some ideas to keep you out of the layer feed, which is what we want to do. <laughs> this is following. Are you following me? Oh. Uh -huh. Go, 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 go see your buddies. <laughs> I think this is following me. Why are you following me? <laughs> I've never seen a goose follow a, a person. Are you gonna accept this guy? You guys have accepted her, that's for sure. Sunday seed day, y'all. We got a big day. We want to, I need to, Start doing these chores for the ninos, and then hopefully we're gonna get to work on our water line for the pigs. Checked on Laurel. She had gotten out of her cone from licking her decision from the uh, surgery, and she's been licking it. She somehow got out of this cone. How'd you get out, Miss Laurel? Well, thankfully we got you another one. We got a backup. She's probably licked off the glue. No. No, see, she wanting to lick it. Let's see if that keeps you off of it, Laurel. You look funny, but maybe that'll protect you from licking it. it happened to be a Sunday. So, we're calling the after hours. Yeah, she's opened it. 
They're probably gonna have to re-glue it or something. Yeah, All right, we're calling them. We'll see what they right say. Now. So the vet said, it's right there on the line. <coughs> yeah, in. she did. So we're just gonna bring her in and it's paid for. I mean, it's part of the thing, I guess. Yeah. We were like, oh my gosh, we're gonna surgery. pay a $300 Sunday emergency. So. I mean, luckily we have a 24 hour vet in our yeah. town. Bye bye. Bye. We'll see you when we get back. The boys thankfully stepped it up on it. Now let's go do the forested pigs, and then by that time it'll be time to milk. You gonna play school? I can play for me for a little okay, bit. Okay, look, she's teaching. <laughs> Thanks for stepping it up, doing the chores this morning. Will you do the pig part? Will you do the pigs in the woods? I sure will. You, you wanna go with me? Okay. Okay, get you an apple or a banana. Well, I guess the party's over at the school schoolhouse. I want to go on a and I want to go on chores. Okay, let's go on the chores. We did watermelon though, so I'll have to give you something else. Can we get you a banana or an apple? Oh. Here, take a peach. It's so yummy. I can have it. I fall You gonna take a banana? That's a good one. Hey, are you guys by a telephone? Are you by a telephone? Because I want you to call the Inquirer. <laughs> All your boots are here. Your cowboy boots, your rain boots, your snow boots, and even a bonus on top. Your canes. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna faint, Mr. Brown. Hold me up. Hold me up. Hold me up. Hold me up. Oh. <laughs> Hold me up. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's go. She's gonna have to sit on my lap. Everybody on? Hold on. What? dead and one's injured. A sea monster? Yeah. Two. What kind of death? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. You have to come. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's not going to be one of those days, is it? Yes. Are they in the run? Dead? Yep. Okay. Do you guys know how this guy got out? No. Have you fed them yet? No. Have you touched the fence yet? Hold on. Okay. You haven't? Well, it doesn't look like it was turned on. Hold on. Hold on. The fence. Oh, it's on. It's hitting hard, too. Okay. Okay. Let's get them fed and then we can look at this. Careful walking in here. You can step and injure somebody. Okay. Oh. All right. It doesn't have its head. I'm going to get these guys fed and then we can look. This one's just flat out dead. No head missing. That uh, make... There's the blood. Look, That's making me think that one. Yeah. It's stiff too. So it's... That one probably just died. I agree. Just happens to be a coincidence. Yeah. But with the head gone though, this is making me think it's a owl. Which is bad because I don't really know really how to protect them from that. Except maybe get them a little further away from the forest. Donald's not really going to help with an owl because it's going to happen at night. Snake! It's not a snake. That's too much food for a snake. I don't know if this is it. See? Anything's it's going to get shocked. I don't think it's getting through the net. Oh man, and it's Sunday. We're harvesting them Wednesday. And we were doing so good. We hadn't lost anybody till yesterday. Somebody got gone yesterday and then these guys. Just wait right there, get in. Is she? <clears throat> she's good. No. She's, she's got that thing on her belly. Oh, she she does. Does. So they have said no exercising at all. She literally can come out, go to the bathroom, and she just comes straight back into her crate. Okay. She just wants to be petted. Has she gone pee in a while? They didn't glue her, but they they bandaged this. her, and now I have to call the ASPA tomorrow. She no. probably wants to go on a walk. Oh yeah, maybe she's hunting a place to go to the bathroom. Yay! Good job, Laurel. Now, this bright and sunny afternoon, 
we were gonna set up the water to the pig forest, but we're now gonna do something about these sea monsters. Now listen, if we do nothing and expect change, that's like the definition of insanity, isn't it? Repeat the same thing over and over and expect something different. So my best idea is, this is super wide because it's got two nets. So it's a little easy because we don't have to move the nets as much, but let's eliminate it down to one net. Let's move it further away from their woods. They're wearing this down good anyway, so let's move it right here. So the net will get reset. It'll only be one net, so it'll be hotter just in case it's a land predator. The net will be, t let's do it, it'll be tighter so it's not as wide, so maybe they won't roam out as far at night. What do you think, Jonah? Yeah. Okay, we need, what do we need? Last year we ran 75 under this, more died ratio. So I wonder if this is too small, this, this, this shelter. We'll see tonight, here. Okay, that's full on, full on speed. So we'll eliminate land predator. Hopefully this will keep them closer to the shelter and underneath from the aisle. Maybe getting a little further away from the forest. Do you, Do you want me to show you guys some of the nests we know of? There's one over there and there's one over there. Sure. Oh, wow. Oh, there. Sit right there. Little afternoon checkup on the goose, who's just doing great. You're fitting right in, nobody's bothering you. You go on loving them guys, okay? All right, we're gonna go out here tonight and just see how, it, okay, turn it off. Maybe we can see without it. We're gonna see, yeah, see they're not all under it. Ooh, some of them are on top of it. Two of them are on top. And some of them are out. Look, there's room. There's plenty of room under here. Look, Jonah, shine the light under here. Look at all that room under there. All right, let's get these two and put them under there. I'm just, look, there's so much room under here. You just get under there, you say. Jonah, we need to, we could, we're not even using this as a staging, so we could cover that. Then they won't perch on that. All right, let's see if it works.